I started playing badminton when I was four. My parents introduced me to the sport. And what kept me interested was that it was challenging, yet um, I was quite good at it. When I started playing badminton, it was, it was more for fun. It was really recreational. Um, I didn't really have any goals. It was more of a social thing where I can go play with my friends and to socialize afterwards. Um, even up until my teens, I was never the top, you know, I was never the top athlete or the top badminton player. So it was more just to, to play and to compete and to have fun. I only started taking badminton more seriously um, maybe right before I graduated from high school. I was slowly becoming better and better and getting more notice not only where I was from but also nationally. Um, I actually started getting better after I got out of high school. That's actually when I won my first nationals. There's always been that fine line when, or especially in Canada, defining professional athlete where, you know, most people say professional athlete, you have to be making money. But in, as a badminton player in Canada, we are playing in that professional, like we are playing professional players, but we're not really making any money. So um, professional athlete or not, um, I guess it's up to you to decide. During the Olympic qualification, I would say the biggest moment was when we, when we defeated Thailand uh, in the first round of the World Championships. Uh, we started in the round of 64 and defeating them we, we got to the round of 32. So that kind of that defines that we, we pretty much deserve to be in the top 32 in the world. Um, that was also around where our ranking was at the time as well. So that was probably our, our biggest moment. We never won a, a round in World Championships before. Um, the biggest challenge to overcome was probably to, to try and to step out of Tony Gunawan and Howard Bach's shadow. Uh, the, the whole year we were competing against them, uh, just trying to get, get that ranking and that was probably the, the hardest challenge for us, or yeah, for us to overcome. My partnership with Adrian, um, especially throughout the Olympic qualification, we did have a lot of ups and downs. I did have to stop training full time for around seven months. So it, it definitely did kind of shake up the partnership, but you know, we, we stuck, you know, we stuck together and we, we worked through it. Um, I was lucky enough to, to get back to training, but yeah, it was, it was great. Like we, we complement each other a lot on court and we, we have a lot of chemistry on court as well. So um, yeah, I'm just lucky to have a partner like Adrian. Uh, yeah, I, I did get to, um, well, not really meet, but I, I did, you know, sit next to Lindan a few times, uh, get, get him to sign a few shirts. It, it was really hard, especially with the, the whole Chinese team, where they really like to, to stick together. And with the language barrier as well, it, it was very hard to communicate. But they, they usually don't like to talk to anybody else unless you are a reporter or you're another you know chinese team member uh, i got to meet lee chong Wei a few times uh, one time i just i bought one of his shirts uh, one of the yonic shirts and i got him to autograph it and he was super nice about it even though that was actually right after he lost to lin dan at the hong kong super series um, a few weeks later when we played macau open we, we went to a club and it just so happened that Lee Chong Wei was there. So we kind of went over to say hi and 
he invited us to his booth um, and just started playing drinking games with Lee Chong Wei and there were you know a lot of drinks and he just kindly offered us to just keep drinking so that was actually pretty cool you know played some drinking games with Lee Chong Wei and yeah it's definitely a really nice guy <laughs> Outside of badminton, uh, right now especially, I'm, I'm doing a lot of work. I started up uh, a few companies. One is Bonnie Sports Canada. I'm the Canadian national distributor. I've also started my own brand of kinesiology tape, which is Kinetics. So I've been, I've been quite busy trying to launch these, these two companies. And, but you know, it's a lot of fun doing it and I, I, enjoy, and I enjoy the work. Yes, uh, I do have, uh, well, I, I guess it is competition to, to try and compete to, to get that result and to get that recogni uh, the recognition. But, you know, luckily Toby and I, we are playing different events. So um, he, he usually beats me in mixed and I usually beat him in doubles. So there, there's not that much, uh, like even though we do compete, you know, it, it's still, it's still, it's still okay for for me to lose to him in mix. I'm I'm okay with that. Hey, this is Derek Ng. Thanks for watching. This is DNA Derek Ng Athletics.